Hello guys, how's it going? And as those who be here with learn to trade with ease. And so if you are new here, you're welcome. And uh, if you are not in our Telegram community, it's Traders Hub Community on Telegram. So Traders underscore Hub Community. All right, so without wasting my time, let's jump into the chat and see what we have okay. for today. And uh, I've actually narrowed down my trading style to a two-step process. And the first step is wait for a liquidity grab of the Asian range. And then two, you wait for the presence of a fair value gap. So as you can see, we have a fair value gap on our chart, indicating that we sell. Okay. And then we go for our one is to two or one is to three. So you can see that we've had like multiple fair value gaps. So we are going to use all three fair value gaps as potential entry points for our trade is that okay and then we have a third one when the fair value gap is huge like that you want to use about 50 percent of that gap okay for your entry and then we are good we are good to go so let's say we are going for a one is two three and mostly when i'm trading us uh pounds usd euro usd australian usd and new zealand i prefer to use a take profit of 40 because i realized 40 40 it's more like the sweet spot when you get your entry right you'll be able to ride a market easily for 40 pips okay so but let's say that will be our standard take profit okay for our one is to three and i prefer going for a one is three x to reward it's also like the sweet spot when you are when you are taking your trade okay so uh pretty much one is to three okay we just got activated on our third fair value gap but i have these two above and market might also move up to activate those trade but we are only taking the trade because it aligns with our trading conditions that there should be a liquidity gap of the Asian high and then a fair value gap created and we use we focus on the first three one two three fair value gap four five currently we have five but always we focus on just the first three okay because we want to maximize our gains when it's getting further away the potential of hitting TP, TP becomes very low okay but for the first three fair value gaps when your trade get activated you're able to get a good play on it is that okay and uh pretty much that is it so what we looked at to get activated on this trade was we looked at the asian range that is the sydney session and mostly it's between uh 10 a.m gmt till 6 a.m gmt so we mark out the asian high and also the asian low okay before the start of our day so pretty much our day starts at 6 a.m gmt that's when i want to come on the chart that is when i want to come and look for trade setups okay so anything before 6 a.m gmt we don't want to be involved in the market because you want to you want to actually wait for the asian range to be completed so at six we come on our chart and then we are waiting to see if the market will break to the upside of the range or to the downside and once it breaks to the upside then we get our bias for the day it means today we are only sellers because the the idea behind it is there's money sitting at the asian high and there's also money sitting at the asian low so if the market takes or grabs the asian high liquidity then perhaps the market will make a move to the downside to grab the low so if we see that the high has been taken then our bias is to just be trading to the downside and now that we know our bias we don't immediately take a trade we have to wait for the presence of a fair value gap or a market imbalance and that is what we see here okay indicated with the uh the fvg by nephew sam and then the sessions by lux algo it makes us see our asian session our new york and our london session is that okay and then as soon as you see a fair value gap you take a trade 
you put a limit order so we saw a first fair value gap we put a limit order because our idea is that the market will be able to pull back to activate our trade and put us in on the trade okay and then again immediately we see another fair value gap without the market pulling back to our first trade to our first fvg so we put another another sell limit another limit order okay and then it goes on to create a third fair value gap then we put another the market can keep creating fourth fifth and sixth so not all the fair value gaps will be relevant to us so we just focus and narrow down on the first three fair value gap the first one the second and the third if there's fourth fifth sixth we just ignore those ones is that okay with the first second third the market has the potential it has the high probability of pulling back to retest those fair value gaps okay so we always focus on these three and we don't know which one the market would decide to activate if we actually knew then we'll not even focus on taking all those three we'll just put it on the one we know but since we don't know we want to risk taking trade on each of these fair value gaps are you getting it so you can see that the first and the second are relatively small so use the low part of the fair value gap to to enter a limit order but you realize the third one it is huge the fair value gap is huge it is relatively bigger compared to the first and second so with that you use about 50 percent of the fair value gap for your trade entry are we good and so that is it and the market pulled back so when the market is pulling back our expectation is that it will it will pull back into the third the second or the first whichever one it pulls back into we are ready to get triggered okay and this market pulled back but i didn't pull back to activate the second and the first but i only pulled back to activate the third and then we are good is that okay and then we go for our one is to throw risk to reward so as i said trader one can decide to go for a 10 pip stop loss and a 30 pip take profit that is a one is to three and trader two can decide to also use a 15 pip stop loss and a 45 pip take profit for his one is to three is that okay and another trader can be in between the 10 and the 15. it's all about your risk appetite so i want you to try it out back test it for yourself and see your sweet spot what works best for you okay so as we can see we had a sweet one is to three on the third trade so if we are risking one percent per trade then our account will be up by three percent okay if you are risking 0.5 per trade the account will be up by 1.5 percent and that is what we love to see so pretty much uh, this is this is basically what we'll be doing every single day so we wait for the asian high or low to be taken if the low gets taken then we are biased for the day and if you are biased we we'll wait for a green fair value gap are you getting it you see that we are having green fair value gap showing up but we are not taking trade to the upside because our bias for the day is selling because the high got taken out first are you getting it and then we are good so with this we are literally looking for one or two trades per day and we call it a day nothing complicated we just keep it simple we keep it mechanical we keep it systematic okay and when, when you are trading this way it's it's not subjective in the sense that trader one feels is ready to sell trader two feels is not ready trader three no we are all looking at the same thing so as long as the three or the two conditions you are looking at are met then we go ahead to execute our trade flawlessly okay and this can be traded on the usd pairs like usd card euro card pounds no usd pair so usd card euro usd pounds usd australian usd and new zealand usd these are, are the five pairs i recommend you look at this strategy on okay and uh yes uh, pretty much uh, that will be it so we'll call it a day peace out and see you tomorrow Hello guys, how's it going? NS Tosu Bediakun here. And this is the year you learn how to trade a financial market. A lot of people have been asking to sell with me, come in person, and this is the year I make it happen. 
So you have the opportunity to come and sit with me, come and learn how to trade the financial market, learn to trade a cryptocurrency market, learn to trade a forex market, learn to trade a stocks market. Are you getting it? And you have the opportunity to do so with me. So catch you inside. Peace out.